The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the honourable member for Denison. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I made the point in question time yesterday, and I'm going to make it again today, um, that both the Liberal Party and the Labor Party uh, have regrettably both given up on uh, job creation in Glenorchy City Council uh, area, which is about half of the Denison electorate. Now, I made the point yesterday uh, uh, that the uh, decision by the federal government, supported by the Labor Party, not to go ahead with the injection of $16 million of economic stimulus, a need clearly identified by the then uh, Liberal National Coalition opposition before the last federal election. The decision to go ahead or to not go ahead with that injection is giving up on uh, jobs growth in that city, and that's very regrettable. Deputy Speaker, but that is but one piece of evidence. Can I tender three more pieces of evidence uh, here today in this place to make the point, to reinforce the point, that both Labor and Liberal have given up on job growth in Glenorchy City? Um, another example I'd like to make is the cuts to CSIRO. Now, Den the Denison electorate uh, is a very important base for the CSIRO, uh, both in Tasmania and nationally. But the previous Labor government reduced the funding such that 139 jobs were cut from CSIRO in Tasmania. And the current uh, Conservative uh, federal government has made further cuts to CSIRO funding, which have cut another 59 jobs from, uh, from the facilities in Tasmania. Uh, another piece of evidence, uh, uh, Deputy Speaker, cuts to the tertiary sector. Now, Denison is a university electorate. Uh, it is the home to the main campus of the University of Tasmania, which is a very important academic institution, but it's also a very important social and economic driver uh, in the state uh, and very, very important to the Denison electorate. But of course, the previous Labor governments uh, cut some $4 billion from university funding uh, over a period of years. And if this federal government gets its way, another $5 billion will be cut from universities, making a total of a $9, million, a $9 billion uh, of cuts from the tertiary sector. We're already chronically underfunded in that sector, uh, um, uh, relevant to so many uh, other countries in the world and uh, by OECD standards. Uh, and the fact that $9 billion would be cut is just unforgivable. Uh, and it is further evidence that both the uh, Labor Party and the Liberal Party, despite all the rhetoric, all the talk, they have in reality given up on jobs growth in the Denison electorate. Um, another piece of evidence I'd like to tender a Deputy Speaker is the fact that um, Denison has a marvellous manufacturing industry and entirely suitable to uh, contribute to defence work. In fact, INCAT alone makes the world's best high technology, high speed, wave piercing catamarans. Vessels that have already been used uh, from time to time by the Royal Australian Navy uh, and the US Navy. Um, but despite all of the talk of making Prince of Wales Bay in the Denison electorate a defence precinct, the reality is that next to no work has gone to that so-called defence precinct. Um, you know, the previous uh, Labor government was there for six years um, and they only started to talk about defence work in Denison in the last 12 months, uh, really as some sort of theatrical political stunt uh, to boost the Labor candidate uh, at the time. In fact, it was so theatrical, they had the Labor candidate before the 2013 election leading delegations of politicians up to Canberra to try and drum up defence work. But when you look at the track record of those six years of Labor, virtually no defence work went to the Denison electorate. And in the current environment, uh, the current go government uh, is, is tripping over itself to send defence work to South Australia, uh, largely for political considerations, and I fear is uh, really about to do the same with Western Australia, again for political considerations, when by any reasonable measure, on its merit, the Denison electorate and the Prince of Wales Bay defence precinct in particular should be getting a big chunk of defence work, including boat building work. So I make the point again, Deputy Speaker, um, there's a lot said about uh, jobs, uh, particularly around election time. Uh, and I suppose we're now, uh, you know, we're only 12 months from an election. A lot more will be said about jobs. But when you look at the track record of the previous Labor governments, the current Liberal National Government, the reality is um, there has been precious little investment in the Denison electorate, precious little investment in things that would create jobs. 
So much of the talk to this point in time has been rhetoric when what we really need is, is genuine uh, talk and a long-term sustained plan.